hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and try not to get you dizzy with menu screens. That's what we look to do every single time. And you know what else we do? We try to add all kinds of games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list. We really do. Hey, folks, I am back here with a new one to the channel. This is a game called Outer Terror. See what I mean? And this is a very B-movie take on the bullet heaven genre. Has a very comic booky style to it and some really cool looking Art. So I'm going to let some of this be shown because I think it's a really neat style and deserves to be seen. And then we're going to jump in to the actual game itself. But basically, there's different stories that you can play through. And within the bullet heaven is a quest system. It's pretty neat. So we're going to show this one off today, and I want to thank the dev for allowing the GOAT to have a copy, to play on the channel, and to show off to all of you. All right. All will be made equal. Indeed. Indeed. All right, let's jump ahead. We're going to skip a little bit. And we're going to get into it. Got a nice gritty style. Yeah, we're going to skip through this and jump into the game here. All right, there has to be other survivors. I need to find Kleinwood Town Square. Maybe there is a road nearby. Well, shall we see? Now, typical to other bullet heavens that we have enjoyed on the channel, we have... An auto reload and an auto fire system that's happening. Now you can change that. I think we'll go with Axe Tenderizer. Actually, let's go with the Aura of Pain. That sounds garlicky. Oh, beautiful. Nice little pentagram of garlic, it seems. But this is firing for me and aiming for me automatically. It's typically going to aim at the enemy that is closest to you. I think most of us are used to that with these style of games. Ah, Main Street. All right. We're making progress here. I can follow this into town. And it looks like we now have... A gold exclamation mark down on the map below there, so I guess we'll start making our way west and then we'll head south to go see what that's all about. And I'm assuming we're going to uncover pieces of the map along the way. Let's go with the additional range on the aura. Now you'll see that we have a total of eight carry slots uh, up to the left there and we have filled four of them we can grab uh, items off of the dead along the way so we're going to do that looks like we've gotten the light bulb that is going to provide an XP boost why don't we go with the throwing knives that sounds pretty good and I'm going to go ahead and fire off the XP boost here Okay, I think we'll go with the... Uh, let's go with the SMG. So we've got two open slots still. I'm going to start heading south. We have a special as well. That is on a cooldown meter. Let's try that right now. All right, that's cool. So we've got a stick of dynamite we can whip out there. We'll go with the normal axe as well. 
and that will totally fill up our weapon slots. The game does have a meta progression window as well in the menu area. I've popped the point into Aura that time. But it does have a nice little creep factor to it, I think. Uh, let's go with the points in the shotgun. We'll go 10 more damage in there. Let's see what we can grab off of this dude, too. Gathers money. Okay. Awesome. That worked out pretty okay. Uh, I am thinking we put it into the aura again. I think that's been pretty helpful so far. And it does look like we are opening up additional quadrants of the map as we pass through them. All right, we've got the repel now. Take a quick sip of coffee here. Cheers to you if you've got something good in your cup. Let's go with that 20 plus range on uh, the aura of pain, plus 20%. Got a very muddy art style to it, doesn't it? Alright, I'm between the health and the shotgun. I think we're gonna go shotgun because the health isn't too low right now. Although I do want to make it to that area of interest down there. Now, I do think that these husks are able to be destroyed. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's go with the throwing knife's fire rate. And I think that those husks are where the enemies are coming out of. So I don't know if, you know, taking those things out. Uh, whoa, whoa. Let's push these guys back with our item. All right, interesting. I think we'll go SMG on this one. Just kind of spread the points around. You know, as we talk about the evolution of the bullet heaven genre, I'm, I'm glad to see developers trying new things out there, you know, putting a, a quest system into these. This game's got different types of stories that you can play through, different characters. It keeps it interesting. Figured I'd get a little bit closer to the horde that time to grab some upgrade pellets. Do we go axe this time? Yeah, we haven't put any points into that yet. Oh, throwing knives four way. Okay, I'm in. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, we're getting closer to that point of interest. Why don't we just lob a dynamite into those guys? That was great. All right, fire rate plus accuracy on the Uzi. Let's do that. And then I think one of these next times, probably go with the health just to get a little bit of a recharge there. Bear trap, stop enemies. Beautiful, let's do it. Oh, we got a medikit, that was great. Looks like we're blocked by this compound here. Hopefully that opens. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right. We'll, we'll go around. We'll play that game. That's fine. Um, 
You know, since we're holding on to the health kit, I think I'm gonna hold off. We'll go with the additional projectile on the Uzi. And I'm gonna fire off that med kit. I like that you can find health on some of the dead. Hey, they don't need it anymore. I needed it more, right? Right? I know we agree on this. Okay, what did we get off that one? Nothing. You like that we're lighting the bodies on fire? It seems appropriate. Okay, what do we got here? Aura of Pain. We could put another point into that. And then we're one away from maxing it out. I would like to see what that does. Splendid. Hey, you with the guns over here. Can you keep these creatures off me? I need to fix my machine. I, you know, I, I think we could try. Got it. Now we can better fortify this town, but I'm not sure how long this uh, fix will last. I need your help. I don't feel like we did anything there to, uh, to help him, but... Apparently, he was able to fix it. Why don't we grab whatever this is? All right, nothing off of that one. Oh. Okay. There is a timer counting down now, it, it appears. Okay, got it. So it was, it was a countdown timer. Let's go fire rate on the knives. Those seem to be working really well for us. Uh, the abilities all seem to be doing their thing so far here. These guys are staying back. Whatever the uh, electricity is that's happening, maybe it's off of his machine. Uh, it's it's helping quite a bit. I'm, I'm happy for it You know as I was thinking about a b-movie bullet heaven of course my mind went back into all of the horror films that I grew up enjoying just like I'm, I'm sure most of us did at some point, you know, you maybe like I did, you know, your, your parents told you, hey, you can't, you can't watch The Exorcist. It's gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. You're not, you're not ready for it. You're not ready for The Exorcist. And then my brother and I said, oh, you know what? Well, there's this thing. You remember VCRs? Do you remember VCR Plus? used to be a thing called VCR Plus before there was, I don't know, TiVo. Man, I'm really dating myself today. But uh, anyway, you could put in the VCR Plus codes into your VCR and it would record whatever, uh, you know, program the, the code corresponded to. All right, I don't know what happened there. I, I think maybe we were supposed to be doing something while he was doing that. I, maybe the goat didn't pay attention. That's it's always a possibility. I, I think that dude died. Um, I feel a little bit bad about that. Anyway, I was told not to watch The Exorcist, and uh, I, I felt differently about all of that. And so uh, we recorded it with the VCR Plus, and, um, you know, my parents were probably correct. Uh, that movie scared the bejesus out of me. All right, I, I want to grab whatever this is. If I can, there we go, bear trap, okay. I still feel like we were ripped off on that machine thing, whatever that was. All right, well, let's, uh, let's keep making our way forward if we can. Uh, we're gonna have to go health this time. I've gotta cut through the horde. There we go. Uh, the car explosions are really clutch, turns out. Alright, XP boost. And don't know what that is. It's a little late to find out. Alright, we'll go with the boost. 
And I'll throw the bear trap down. I couldn't grab whatever that was back there because our two slots were full. All right, let's see if we can head into some other areas in or on the map. See if we can pick the story back up again. He was excited about... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. They're not messing around. You died. Indeed, we did. Indeed. But we had a good time dying. I should mention there's an online mode. You can get in there with a friend or two. I believe it's up to three players. Uh, let's see if we've earned any upgrades. We've got 278. So we cannot afford any of these things yet. But you can see there is a meta progression system. Looks like you can add some uh, buffs to bullets, give them elemental capabilities. So that's pretty neat. Should we try one more episode? Let's try one more episode. What could go wrong? All right. You know what? This one has been catching my eye. Let's give it a go. Let's see what we got on offer here. Do we roll with Gray again? I like him. Let's go. I liked his dynamite throw. We found it in America, of all places, a Russian fairy tale book held the location, a settlement in Alaska that predates modern history. The town leaders were told it is an archaeological dig for Inuit relics. A team is currently en route to set up of facilities. I'll be there in two weeks. Something's developing. They've been paid quite well for their concerns. Uh, that looks like a... Oh, boy. Look, we found the Fountain of Youth. They'll be kissing our asses from all the good trouble coming their way. Oh, my. It's getting serious. Oh, well, those two look ready to jump on in. Yes, you are coming. Okay, I'm ready. Are you? My family, my friends, my community is dead because of your lies. All right, we're jumping in. We're jumping in. I'm ready. Welcome to one of the few places where you might not die. Safe zones. Stop the timer and allows you to meet other survivors, resupply, or take a quest. A lot can happen in a safe zone. Interesting. Okay. You're not the only survivor with problems. You can involve yourself and other people's problems by walking next to them and pressing E. Survivors will ask for help, give information, etc., etc. All right. Well, there you have it. Gather those gas cans lying around. Bring them over there to the fuel tank. We can get gas from vehicles, too. If we have to, I know there's gas around the island. I'm going to start a fire with one of those tanks. We'll freeze out here if we don't. Interesting. Okay. Looks like you've picked up an item. Right, right, right. Okay. Whoa. All right, we're bringing it. Okay. All right, well, here's more gas. Fire pit heals you, hurts them. I thought we had to bring the fuel... Okay. All right, well, let's leave the safe zone. Hey, come in. I'll keep an eye on the fuel tank. Uh-oh. 
I'll keep an eye on the fuel tank and let you know when it is low. It's cold out there, so remember, you can use the fuel canisters to start a fire to keep warm. Interesting. Okay, we're going to go with the rifle. I'll put the map back on. And, you know, this time I'm going to skip the Aura of Pain. We'll go SMG. And let's go throwing knives. I thought those were pretty good. Lots of fuel just laying around. Okay, let's go pistol. Should we see what some of this fuel does? Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. We're going to go machete. Oh, nice. Let's do the flamethrower. Cost us two spots, but... I'm assuming that'll be worth it. You know, we didn't take the mine last time. Why don't we go with that? Yeah, that looked pretty sweet. Uh, we'll go with the mine fire rate. through on the rifle. The penetration can really help in these Ford survival games. I'm really liking the mines. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll think we'll go fire rate on the throwing knives. going to start throwing down some of our items. Um, I am going to take the health this time. I'm go back and grab some of these coins. I don't want to grab whatever's on this corpse as well. Nothing that time. All right. Let's see how you're treating us now. Uh, let's go a point in the flamethrower. Uh, that was a big group. I think the mines might be my favorite. Okay, we'll go with the pass through again on the rifle. about you? Do you have any favorite B-movies or just horror movies in general? Uh, the other one, aside from The Exorcist, that just scared the hell out of me was Poltergeist, of course. Now, I always feel for the people that ended up bringing their children into the theater to see that film. I, I can't imagine it. You know, this was before they had, like, a consistent rating system for movies. Uh, let's go flamethrower again. That film was rated PG. I can't even imagine it. Oh, honey, don't worry. That man is, uh, well, he's just, he's seeing things, and, and while he's seeing things, he's, uh, well, tearing the pieces off of his face in front of a mirror. No worries. Things happen. It's all right. You know? Um, what a film. 
definitely scared me. I love movies that can do that still. In this day and age, you know, I, I feel like it's few and far between. And I'm not talking about movies like Scream, where it's, hey, how many different ways can we eviscerate somebody on the screen? You know, like... That formula, uh, it just doesn't bring me uh, much anymore. There was certainly a time. Hey, there's a medikit. Wonderful. I'm more into uh, films like... The Boogeyman. Boogeyman looks pretty good to me. I'm, I'm hearing good things about it. Bear Trap. Uh, let's go ahead and throw it down. It's gonna get somebody at some point. That's the way I'm thinking about it. Uh, what do we want to do? I guess we'll put into the rifle, since we've got the penetration upgrades. Makes sense. Uh-oh. Alright, these... Fire pit heals you, hurts them. Right, right. Well, let's pop them down, shall we? Uh, we'll go with the throwway... Throwway. Four-way on the throwing knives. We better find some health pretty soon here. Alright, bunch of fuel pickups. Ow! Oh! Well, there goes that. Hey folks, this is a game called Outer Terror. You can check it out now, if you so choose. It is out on Steam. And per usual, I will include the link to the Steam page in the video description. If you want to jump in there and check it out, or maybe you're not ready to check it out, maybe you want to wish list it. Whatever you want. You do you. Don't worry about the size of that wish list and backlog. It's it's okay. We all have them. My knees hurt, my back hurts, you know. It it is what it is. It's it's the crushing weight of us trying to find time to get to these games. But it's okay. We're we're gonna we're all gonna find the time. We're all gonna find the time, okay? It's going to be fine. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out and checking out some Outer Terror today. Uh, let's do this again sometime. Let's uh, all get together on the Goat Force Gaming channel and we will play a roguelike or a roguelite because, well, that's what we do every time out here. And uh, you know what else we do? We give away a game at least once a week, every week, because giveaways are awesome and uh, we can do them because of you and your support. So... Why don't we keep doing that? Sounds like a good thing to do. All right. You take care out there. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Have a great one.